Hi there, welcome to today's back and bicep workout. My name is Vanessa Palm. I am your personal trainer. This is a free service that I provide for you and in return I ask that you try to support me with product sales. I sell new skin products and I sell Herbalife products and if you're looking for anything relating to health, beauty, wellness, supplementation, weight loss products, etc. I'm the person hopefully that you will speak to and yes those products are available almost globally. So that is how you can help me by switching some of your product choices to those that I offer. Today is back and biceps, I think I said that just now. What you're going to need is you're going to need a floor mat, you're going to need some weights, quite light weights. So I've got three kilograms, four kilograms and five kilograms on standby. The repetitions are relatively high. So if you've got ones, twos and threes or just have whatever you have ready, you'll start with the lightest one and then we come back and repeat the exercises, you'll have an idea of what to expect. This is a personal training session, meaning that it is not, strictly speaking, a normal group class and that there's a, a lot of instruction that I do during the session, which lasts up to an hour. There is also a playlist. This full workout is part of a playlist and all of the other videos have taught you in more detail how to properly, safely, effectively execute each and every exercise in today's workout. That is what I give to you that is an extra personal training element compared to a lot of the other options out there. Also, I keep it relatively simple. So irrespective of your experience, you should be able to get through today. Obviously, if you're brand, brand new and you've never trained before, there's always an element of learning. And just be patient with yourself, keep coming back, and you'll see, you'll catch it very quickly. I try to stay away from anything that is dangerous, which takes me to my next very important, please, please listen. If you're busy getting your stuff together, please listen while you're busy doing that. Medical, um, medical clearance. If you choose to continue with today's session or any other session that I provide for you, it is entirely at your own risk. I please, I advise you strongly to seek medical clearance if you haven't sought it before. And if you've ever been advised not to partake in medical activity, um, sorry, in fitness or um, physical activity, please seek medical clearance before you then decide to make a change on that. But if you do continue, it is entirely at your own risk. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Nice and simple. I've got some towels. Oh, sorry, you need a towel. You need some water. And it's a very straightforward. We're going to start off with a very simple warm-up. Um, normally when I say it's kind of a mix and match, you can just follow me. It might feel a little bit like aerobics for those of you who are new. Basically, for the first five minutes, you can do whatever you like. If you want to skip on and off, if you want to do jumping jacks on and off, if you just want to sit down and stand up, if you're brand new, that's fine. Just also, if you're new, sorry, that is what I did forget to say. The numbers can get quite high in terms of the repetitions. Please don't feel pressured or compelled to do every single thing. Do what you can and at your own pace. When I move on to the next exercise, move on with me. Forget about the fact that you haven't finished it. Don't chastise yourself. I promise you, you will get fitter and stronger. Okay. This workout is also tough for me. So if you're new, you need to bear that in mind and just keep coming back. Just keep coming back. All right, let's get going. Right. You know what, let's just start with a nice little simple hamstring curl. Let's just start getting things loosened up a tiny bit. It's not too soft. Sometimes it's too loud. Okay, we're going to change. Four, three, two, one, and. Okay, use your arms. Use your arms, okay? Four, back to hamstring. One, and. Very nice. Really get those arms 
march it out in four, three, two, one, and march. Okay, nice high knees. Quite a nice fast pace. Simple moves will get our heart rate up. Really move those arms. We need your upper body warm as well. If you don't have a skipping rope, it's fine. You can just jump on the spot, okay? Right. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. We're going to skip for 30 seconds. And we're going to take a 15 second break. If this is tough, take a break before it's fine. Okay? You just do what you can. Right, let's take our break. 15 seconds. So if you're warming up on your own, or if you want to just do a bit of cardio on your own, you don't even need a rope, you can just jump on the spot. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Let's go. It helps when you've got music to keep you distracted.
front. Lightest weight. We're going to do something called a thread through. Okay, we're going to get out of the sun. I hope that's okay in terms of what you can see. Okay. On your all fours, please. Let me show you from the side. You'll be like that. And you're going to thread through. And when you come up, you're going to pull your hand up and reach to the ceiling. Let me show you from the other side. Thread through and pull. When you pull up, I want you to focus here, which is why we're going to introduce a weight, okay? Not in the first round, in the second, second and third. So let's go for it. Three, only, only looking for 10 on each side. Three, two, one, let's go. One, don't worry about the music. Two, safe and control. Three, four, focus on your back. Five. Five, one, 
Sun, the sun's hectic. Okay. All right. We're going to do our own yells. I'm going to introduce a, a five. Be careful with what you do here. Whatever. If you want to start with a one or a two, that's okay. For an RDL, five is quite light because it's engaging this group of muscles, your hamstrings and your glutes. Okay? So it's relatively light, but get your confidence first. Wait for me in the same hand as the leg that's down. I'm going to be more diligent with my focal point this time. And let's go for 15 on each side. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, 
some water. Today's workout from a cardio aspect is very easy compared to a lot of the other workouts. Okay, so I'm going relatively fast because our heart rate isn't going crazy. Have some water. Why do we pair back and biceps together? Because it's anything that is a pulling motion, which basically involves our back, also means that we're bending our arm. And as soon as we're bending our arm this way, our bicep is working. So we put the two together because the biceps are working anyway. So we just combine it. Same applies with chest and tricep in the opposite. Anything that's pushing engages your chest and your arm straightens, it engages your tricep. That's your lesson of that today. Right. This next one is a line. It's called a line. No, we haven't done the RDL. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, let me get rid of this. Now watch and see. Hopefully I don't fall all over the place again. Okay, I'm actually quite good at these. I'm a little bit distraught. Right, let me stay in this position. Get ready to start. Three, two, one. One, let's go. Okay. Find your position. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. One. See? It's a lot easier. I hardly even have to touch my foot on the ground. It shows you how much stability work goes into working on a slightly softened surface. Okay? Three, two, one for 50. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. of today that's why I'd rather stick to a lighter weight don't go too heavy don't stress lots of practice on those because they're a great exercise if you're really struggling and you're just falling all over the place get a chair or something next to you that you can just gently hold on to whichever side you feel comfortable with. don't lean on it but just for balance and security okay right you're gonna need your mat again Lie on your tummy, legs straight out behind you, okay, you're going to please, if I look at you from the top, or if you look at me from the top, you should see a Y, okay, the movement is to lift up, that's it, there, up, up, don't start, I'm just showing you, okay. So basically you're working, you'll feel it in the back here, behind your shoulders, you might even feel it in your shoulders, and you should feel it along the length of your spine. If you're quite weak, you might, not, you might feel it in all sorts of other places until you manage to get a little more elevation, okay? Lift your feet as well, your glutes will engage with you. All right, 20. I showed you the rhythm just now. Three, two, one, let's go. Up. Up, down, up, hold, down, up, hold, down, up, hold. Six, seven, eight, nine. Try not to touch in between if you can. Ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. One, well done. It is 
very hot in the sun, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Have some water. We're now just going to do a stand of bicycle, meaning there'll be no twist. Okay? So you're going to go back to your light weight. We're going to do 20 again. From the front, three, two, one, goes like this. One, no twist, two, no swing, please. Join me, and one, two, shoulders back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, halfway, keep it going. 
Um, every now and then I do get dizzy. Why am I telling you this? Just try and do the same thing. Try and have something light to eat before you train every single time. I do as well. Well, I do. It doesn't always help though. It just is. I've always had it. It's not dangerous provided you don't pass out. Depends how low it is, okay? Let's go for our 20 biceps. Ready? Stand it. Don't swing. See in the position. Three, two, one, and one. Excellent. Okay. We have our bicep. And then our RDL. 
now, we will have a little break and we'll go into our last circuit. Right, so for now, two weights, so we're going to have one arm at a time. Okay? Three, starting position is here. Three, two, one, let's go. And one. Watch out you don't swing, please. Five. Five. Six. Six. That's halfway. Come on, ladies. Ten. above, you would see 
see a W from my hand down my elbow to the top of my head, down my elbow to my hand, okay? There's the W, okay. Exactly the same principles of why. One, two, three, okay? That will be the rhythm. We're going for 20 of those. Keep it up the whole time. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Ten, five, eight. the bottom of your back working. If it's hurting you, put your feet down on the ground and just focus on upper body for now, okay? Right, going into a bicep exercise. This time we're going to do a hammer curl. We're going to go with the lightest weight again. So let's start with threes. You're going to hold the weight like that and you're going to keep it like that. This is your strongest hand position, sorry, your strongest hand position for your biceps, for your bicep curls. So, strictly speaking, I would go heavier, but in the interest of kind of synchronic, synchronicity along the mindset of what we're doing today. Sorry, lady. Something good, my mouth is okay. Gross. Okay. Um, we're just going to keep it the same and consistent. All right. So that's your position. I'm showing you from the side. You can maybe tie it now. Core tight. Stick out your tailbone, stick out your chest, chin up. Toes up in your shoes, soft knees. You're doing two at once. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Again, don't let your arms swing, please. Four, five. Control on the weight down as well. Don't let the weights drop down. Nine, ten. Relax your jaw. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. So in this one, I slotted in another floor exercise for our back called swimmers. This one I'm going to do for time, okay? So I'm just going to tell us when to start and when to stop. Just going to lie on the floor and it's as though you're swimming. Okay, again, if this hurts your lower back too much, then um, leave your feet on the ground and just swim with your upper body, all right? Okay, let's get ready. In three, two, oh, hang on. Sorry, hold on, there we go. In three, two, one, let's go, one. Just for 20 seconds. Stop before I say so. Five seconds left. Keep going. Well done. Well done. Nice and easy. Back into our RDLs. Let's have a bit of a break and some water before we do that round another two times. Okay. I thought I'd be able to use my watch for that. I was leaving. Okay. I'm going to face you this time, I think. I'm going to show you, hopefully, how I find my focal point. I try to keep it there. I want you to see from the front that when I go down, my head stays up, helping to keep my back as straight as possible, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four.
and I'll wait for you. Don't worry. Also wait for my head rush to pass. Okay. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. together the way they do and have in the past. Training is so important for our for a healthier aging process. Okay, have a little bit of water. Okay, let's get cracking. With our second to last circuit, we're going to start with our double use again. Okay, I'm going to show you from the side. Make sure nothing's in the way. Well done, ladies. 
ladies. Well done. Our second to last, RDL. RDL for challenging. You're doing a lot of them. They are so good for your glutes when you manage to find your, your balance, okay? So just don't give up. Persevere, please. You're doing it with no weight. It's also brilliant, okay? I promise you, something's better than nothing. Uh, let me face you again. Three, two, one. Let's go for 15. Shoulders back. 
the other side for the last time today okay three two one let's go whoopsie daisy huh. thinking about music must have finished okay let's go huh. oh it's very quiet <laughs> Keep going, get your 15. That's my 15. Keep going if you are, if you haven't finished. You're going to grab your mat. We're going to do our stretching. Looks like that's the end of the album. Hi, Sands. This is Sandy. The happiest dog in the world. Always a wag. She wakes up and comes in. Good, Sandy. Good, She's the sweetest thing. She wakes up wagging her tail. When she walks around, she's wagging her tail. She's just the happiest thing ever. Okay, but I'm going to have to ask her to move because she's one of those that doesn't stop pouring you for tickles if she thinks she's in with a chance. Okay, go into this position. Just a very quick stretch. I just quickly had a look at the time and realized that we're quite over, quite over time now. So we're just going to quickly stretch our glutes. Up, up, up. And when you can, just twist a little round, a little do your lower back. Keep your body as tall as you can. Let's change sides. Really pull it over, get a, get a stretch going there. Once it's released a little bit. Oh, I'm sweating, the sun is boiling hot. I don't glow. Most, most women glow. I definitely don't. I have my father's genes. Okay, twist it around. We're looking to get a bit of a stretch around my back as well. Just 
So I doubt that you can, well, you probably can. Okay, I'm going to place my back to you now because I want to show you something. I want you to lie on the floor facing me or sit and watch first. What I want you to do is I want you to lie with your body straight, with your feet in line with your hips, okay? You're going to lift your knee and you're going to pull over. Please don't do this. What a lot of people do is they'll lie down knowing what they're wanting to achieve, where their end result is, and then they shuffle over and they put their leg down. You're wasting your time. Lie like that, up and pull and look in the opposite direction, trying to keep the shoulder on the opposite side to your knee that's pulled over, trying to keep that shoulder down. It sometimes helps to have somebody push your knee and hold your shoulder down. Somebody who knows what they're doing. And hold that position. You should feel a lovely stretch into the top of your glute and the bottom of your back. When you're ready, bring it back to the center. Lower your leg, get your starting position right again. Lift the other side, okay? And pull it over. Oh, I just felt a lovely click. Okay, my shoulder is lifting. This side feels very tight in my glute, very. Just hold it and pull it over. Ooh. Just won't release. When you're ready, slowly bring it back to the center. Hug your knees to your chest. going to just come down into this position if you have anybody around you or can later what you do is you put yourself into your, a child's pose and have somebody just gently walk their hands along your spine applying just a little bit of pressure just to open it up a bit but please very very carefully okay remember that indemnity don't take unnecessary risks Okay, for biceps, you're going to go to my Facebook page. You're going to look at, in fact, when I post this, I'm going to post it along with a sheet that gives you a whole lot of stretches and you can have a look at stretches for your arms, okay? But the back and the glute was the most important because we're a bit restrained for time today. And basically what I was going to say to you is that it's the end of the day for me. And like you, I also have other interests in particular administrative work. And it's amazing how your concentration can play a role. So my mind wandered off far too easily while I was doing RDLs or whatever it was. And, and it does affect everything. So if you know that that's, that's the kind of day, it's not to be harsh on yourself and get frustrated because you're having a bad day. Just always remember your, wor your best on your worst days is still your best. And just be kind to yourself around whatever it uh, is that, that you've had going on for you that day. And if you've been busy and if you're mentally fatigued, then so be it. You just do what you can, provided you remain safe. Okay, that was it. Ladies, well done. Tomorrow is shoulders and calves, and then it will be weekend and time for a break. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, I'm always available to um, help wherever I can.